the way, check 80011. On the Pacific Missile Range off the Hawaiian coastline again in May 2012 is USS Lake Erie CG-70. Here, ship's force waits to fire an upgraded Standard Missile 3 against a short-range ballistic missile target, proving that the new second-generation Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Baseline BMD-401 and SM-3 Block 1B missile work successfully in a tactical configuration. It's the first BMD-401 and SM-3 Block 1B live fire with real smoke, real fire, and fingers on the button as USS Lake Erie CG-70 faces FTM-16 Stellar Vengeance. Lake Erie's primary objective is to conduct a lethal engagement of a ballistic missile target with the Aegis BMD-401 weapon system and SM-3 Block 1B missile. The target is an ARAV-A unitary short-range ballistic missile. Lake Erie's officers and crew have prepared for the test event by going through a number of training exercises on land and their ship, practicing the firing sequence and ballistic missile doctrine setup. They are ready. Using the updated mission planner, the ship's spy radar ballistic search sectors are set, along with entering doctrine statements for Lake Erie to conduct an auto-engagement on the target. Back on a Pacific Missile Range facility's launch pad, the target countdown for a nighttime launch is underway. As the ARAV-A target climbs into space, it is quickly detected and placed into track by Aegis BMD-401. The ship, operating in a combat configuration, evaluates the target and declares it a threat. Aegis BMD processes SPY-1 radar information and executes discrimination logic to identify the target. And the Aegis weapon system prepares to automatically engage and launch its SM-3 Block 1B against the ARAV-A. After the SM-3 Block 1B is fired, Lake Erie uplinks data to the SM-3 Block 1B missile to control the missile throughout its flight. Finally, the SM-3's third stage ejects its kinetic warhead, or KW, as it maneuvers using its improved engine toward the target the KW uses SPY-1 radar track discrimination data along with its internal data from a new seeker to confirm its target. Arcadia track 80011. A direct hit. Confirmation of target destruction is provided to Lake Erie by the KW fused with ship's radar data providing an important new kill assessment function of the system. Success for Aegis BMD-401. Success for SM-3 Block 1B. Various external sensors documenting the event confirm its success. 
and the Aegis BMD team celebrates another milestone in its development. Aegis BMD 401 and SM3 Block 1B demonstrates lethal intercept capability in its first successful live fire at sea ballistic missile defense test. BMD 401's success during FTM 16 is a key milestone for achieving certification of Aegis BMD 401 and the SM3 Block 1B in 2012. The ticket to the room, the ticket to the table is intelligence. Uh, my sailors, the sailors in, involved in preparing for this event are the best and brightest that I've seen. Aegis BMD with its 22nd successful ballistic missile intercept is expanding the battle space, defeating longer range, more sophisticated ballistic missile threats, evolving and improving ballistic missile defense capabilities against the growing worldwide threat of hostile ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD delivers. During March 2011 and May 2012, the U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency demonstrated the continuing evolutionary development and success of its sea-based ballistic missile defense system, Aegis BMD, in a series of test events, FTM-16, Stellar, Beowulf, and Vengeance. Under development and testing on land and sea for over four years, the new second generation of Aegis BMD was tested at sea with USS Lake Erie CG-70 operating in a tactical configuration. This second generation system, called BMD-401, improves performance against more sophisticated, longer-range ballistic missile threats in larger raid sizes. Evolution of the Aegis weapon system includes a new BMD signal processor, improving target discrimination and tracking capability, along with other new equipment and computer program development. In addition to weapon system modifications, the standard Missile 3 includes a spiral upgrade from the current Block 1A configuration. This new SM3 Block 1B improves system performance and discrimination capability, increasing missile effectiveness against longer range and more sophisticated ballistic missiles. The SM-3 Block 1B's kinetic warhead includes a new seeker, signal processor, and a better advanced engine, the throttleable divert and attitude control system. In March 2011, during the FTM-16 Event 1 tracking exercise, Lake Erie tracked a sophisticated fireball, 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 separating One, two, zero, ballistic five, missile target. The target included multiple objects, requiring the system to track these objects, identify the lethal object, and send track data to the ballistic missile defense system. Lake Erie was able to successfully detect, track, determine the lethal object, and conduct a simulated SM3 Block 1B engagement against the target. One. This validated BMD 401's ability to observe a complex track. scene composed of many three, objects, three. evaluate their characteristics, and identify the single object to direct an SM3 to destroy the target. Following the ballistic missile tracking event, while still maintaining ballistic missile defense capability, the ship conducted two anti-air warfare exercises. 
During the exercise, Lake Erie engaged the first yeah. live fire AAW threat with the Aegis BMD 401 weapon system. The ship fired an SM2 Block 3A missile against a cruise missile target that flew in a low altitude approach toward the ship. In the following electronic warfare jamming exercise, Lake Erie successfully conducted a simulated SM-2 missile engagement of a cruise missile target. Auto engage ordered. That guy, kill track A0714. These exercises validated the second generation Aegis BMD system's self-defense capability while maintaining its ballistic missile defense role. FTM-16's final test was conducted in May 2012, where Lake Erie fired the new SM-3 Block 1B missile against a ballistic missile target using the BMD-401 weapon system. The target was a unitary short-range ballistic missile. After the target was launched, Lake Erie detected and placed it into track and perform target threat evaluation and discrimination. Aegis BMD automatically launched the SM-3 Block 1B missile after the target was declared hostile and met engagement criteria. Lake Erie controlled the SM-3 Block 1B through its flight. And for the first time, an SM-3 Block 1B kinetic warhead identified and destroyed a ballistic missile target. Finally, the SM-3 Block 1B's kinetic warhead sent data back to Lake Erie, which correlated with ship's radar data, confirming the intercept. This first at-sea intercept using Aegis BMD-401 and SM-3 Block 1B demonstrated lethal intercept capability. I think the capabilities that 401 provides to the Navy and to our nation uh, go a long way in stating definitively that the United States is ready to conduct ballistic missile defense. FTM-16 success will lead to the certification and deployment of the second generation Aegis BMD system, ahead of the President's 2015 deadline for phased adaptive approach to Aegis BMD-401, SM-3 Block 1B, expanding the battle space defeating more sophisticated threats, moving ballistic missile defense capabilities forward, continuing the evolution into the future. Aegis BMD, forward, at sea, on patrol. On the Pacific Missile Range off the Hawaiian coastline in March 2011 is USS Lake Erie CG-70. Here, ship's force waits for the launching of a sophisticated ballistic missile target to track and conduct a simulated intercept, along with conducting two anti-air warfare exercises proving that the new second-generation Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Baseline BMD-401 works successfully in a tactical configuration. FTM-16 Stellar Beowulf. Officers and crew of Lake Erie are on alert, waiting the firing of a ballistic missile target to begin FTM-16. The first tests of Aegis BMD-401 in a tactical configuration. These tests are needed for the Navy to certify the new Aegis BMD weapon system, a key step before it can be deployed. Event 1 is a ballistic missile tracking exercise, and in addition, there are two anti-air warfare tests. 
The target is launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility in Hawaii. The most challenging ballistic missile target faced by Aegis BMD to date climbs above the horizon, awaiting detection. The sophisticated separating target is designed with multiple objects to deceive Lake Erie, requiring Aegis BMD to track the objects, identify the lethal target object from other objects, and simulate an engagement. It's the new Aegis Ballistic Missile Signal Processor which gives the Aegis BMD weapon system increased processing power to detect, track, and engage more sophisticated ballistic missile threats. With the target designated as a ballistic missile threat by the doctrine set earlier in Mission Planner, the ship is ready to okay, execute an auto engagement on the target uh, with a simulated SM3 Block 1B missile. Eagles away, track two zero five three. Two zero zero five. Eagles away. Done, tech guy. Outrider Bravo, this is Lake Erie. Eagles away, track two zero five three. Overcoming the challenge. Aegis BMD-401 successfully identifies the lethal target object and conducts a simulated engagement, validating the ballistic missile signal processor's discrimination capabilities in preparation for FTM-16's live fire of an SM-3 Block 1B. Following Event 1, Lake Erie conducts two anti-air warfare exercises. The ship maintains its ballistic missile defense search capability while conducting the exercises, an improvement from the previous Aegis BMD baseline. Lake Erie engages the first live-fire anti-air warfare threat with the Aegis BMD-401 weapon system. Similar to the tracking event, Batteries the ship detects guns, the low-altitude subsonic cruise missile target earlier enabled. than expected. With the target in vampire, track, vampire, 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 Aegis track BMD computes a fire control solution to engage the target. That guy, all stations, kill track two zero. There's way, track the two ship zero, fires an SM2 Block 3A missile to intercept the cruise missile target as it flies toward the ship. Mark India, target intercept and destruction. Next, in a challenging anti-air warfare, electronic warfare jamming exercise, a cruise missile target is directed toward Lake Erie, again in a low altitude approach. Despite the electronic warfare jamming, it is again detected early by Aegis BMD and placed by the system into a simulated engagement. The first tests end in the successful simulated engagement of the cruise missile jamming target. FTM-16's at-sea anti-air warfare exercises validate Aegis BMD-401 ship self-defense capabilities, while Lake Erie continued maintaining its ballistic missile defense role and success of these events points to the promising future of Aegis BMD-401. What we've now demonstrated is the 401 baseline can put a target into track, can defend itself while doing a ballistic missile mission. But first, FTM-16 concludes with a most important test the live fire intercept of a ballistic missile target with an SM-3 Block 1B missile. The U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency, working with its government contractor partners, continue the evolution of Aegis BMD 
the proven at sea element of the ballistic missile defense system in a new baseline, BMD 401. Along with this evolution is the continuing development of the standard missile 3, fired by Aegis BMD to intercept ballistic missiles. The new SM3 Block 1B. The Aegis BMD-401 weapon system, along with the SM-3 Block 1B, introduce improvements for conducting ballistic missile defense from the sea, including engagement performance against more sophisticated, longer-range ballistic missile threats in larger raid sizes, surveillance and trackability against longest range threats, and improved ability to fire the SM-3, exploiting off-board, sea, surface, air, and space-based sensors. These improvements are made with modifications to the Aegis BMD weapon system equipment and computer program for improved discrimination and tracking capability, along with SM-3 missile upgrades. The Aegis BMD-401 weapon system includes the BMD signal processor, kill assessment, and integration of an updated SM-3 Block 1B missile, improving overall system performance. Important changes in the SM-3 Block 1B include an improved seeker, kinetic warhead engine, the throttleable divert and attitude control system, and modernized electronics. It's been over four years since the development and testing started on the Aegis BMD-401 weapon system and the SM-3 Block 1B. This has been done across the country. Development of the second generation BMD system leads to testing, first by engineers, and finally by Lake Erie's crew as they practice both on land and their ship to gain experience and prepare to meet the challenge of FTM-16. Its successful conclusion will usher in new ballistic missile defense capabilities from the sea against more challenging threats. The Navy plans to certify the new Aegis BMD-401 baseline and SM-3 Block 1B during 2012, with availability on Aegis-equipped ships for deployment to follow. <laughs>